Yeah, this morning I'm just gonna have uh, we're gonna have a cooked brekkie because woke up this morning the fire's still going so um, pretty much can't not have a cooked brekkie now so um, yeah I put a couple of pieces of that um, lump char on just to keep the fire hot that I'm gonna use for a roast in a couple of nights and um, yeah it must have just sat under the coals and smoldering away but chucked a couple of bits of fresh wood on there and she's away so got the fry pan out I'm just gonna cook some eggs and ham and toast and stuff um, yeah other than that that's what we wake up to unreal yeah it's low tide at the moment uh, tides coming in um, High tides a bit after lunch, I think. So yeah, if the wind doesn't pick up too much, which it has the last couple of days, picks up a fair bit in the morning. Um, if it doesn't get too crazy, I'll hopefully get towards the reef somewhere, go venture a little bit further. Uh, but for now, I'm pretty happy just to get a couple of squid here and there and go for a little bit of a fish in between. And tonight we're having dinner with the camp hosts, um, um, Gary and Sharon, and um, and they're gonna treat us to some uh, ruby snapper, which is awesome. Um, Gary's got it pretty dialed in. He goes out the back out here and gets his rubies. He's been coming here for a fair few years, and, um, and he loves his um, deep dropping and stuff, and he's, He's fairly onto it, or he is onto it. So yeah, never had ruby snapper before, and um, yeah, pr pretty looking forward to that. Whoa, here they come. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, not too sure what's, um, what's going on this morning, but uh, we've had thousands and thousands uh, what I've just found in your book, uh, budgerigar, just a straight up budgie. Budgerigar, small bright green parrot with yellow face and yellow edging to black feathers. Coming over the top. Oh, here we go, here we go. Woo! Yeah. Uh, <laughs> For the last hour, there's just been groups of 100, 200, 300 at a time just buzzing over us. Yeah, so most of them have just been um, cranking along the coast here and just buzzing us overhead. We're about to get buzzed again. So there we go, just a budgerigar. That's there. That's it. Yeah. It's crazy, I don't know what's going on. Some migration or something. Maybe there's bad weather or something. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Yeah, I don't know. I don't understand. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not too sure. Um, hasn't happened any other day we've been here, but um, seems to be today's the day. Budgery guards are on the move. Holy shit! There's thousands of them. I just turned around.
Ah, no wind. Uh, it was bound to happen. So yeah, surprisingly, um, uh, it's just after six. But yeah, I haven't really heard any boats singing around. Um, it's been windy the last couple of days, so nothing really much has been happening in the way of fishing. But um, uh, yeah, I was talking to the fellas up there and um, they're going out for swordfish today in 700 metres of water. So I'm pretty sure they would have left earlier this morning, but um, in a big boat, well, hopefully they get one. That'd be pretty interesting. Uh, yeah, just gonna put out just out there a little bit further than where I went the other day. Um, a few weed beds and this stuff. Because it's got cups of tea. Yeah, we'll have a drift around and see if we can catch some uh, a couple of extra squid for dinner. I got those couple of squid I caught the other day and um, just need one or two more. It'd be pretty good for a feed, I reckon. We could have squid and chips tonight. Just gonna throw the boat in the water. Start up the big yammy and cut out. She's no monster, but um, <laughs> it's a start for the morning. That'll add to the feed tonight. That'll make uh, it a feed now. Yeah, three little ones. Three little ones. Be good. Yeah. Yeah. All about the blue today. All about the blue. Maybe a little again. <laughs> Squid out, medium size. I'm just gonna do uh, one last drift and then head in for breakfast. Got two little squid, so yeah, our camp is just near the A-frame of solar panels. They're just to the um, left of that. I got, I got, I got fish on. I got a fish. Oh shit! <laughs> I had a fish on. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, he's fully taken a fucking bent out one of me cheeks. <laughs> I was like, oh, I've got the ground because it's sort of like went bang, bang, bang. I, I know it's like hitting across a rock or something. There's like, <laughs> oh, that's it. Uh, two squid. And uh, back for breakfast. Oh, ah. Maybe. Oh, come Shit. on. Work for me. Oh, maybe not back for breakfast. Maybe not. <laughs> yeah. Yeah.
Yeah, a bit of bacon and eggs this morning. Sunday morning car tradition, and uh, we popped out for a squid this morning. Got a couple of squid before brekkie, uh, which we'll cook up tonight for dinner. We got four squid now. Four, just they're only they're not big, uh, but four is good for a feed. And um, and once we have breakfast, uh, this wind is holding off at the moment, which is good. So yeah, we'll um, have some brekkie and a cuppa and um, gear up and head back out. Might head out uh, a bit further towards the reef and check out that sort of ground out there and have a bit more of an explore uh, while the wind's not so crazy. And in the meantime, a bit of bacon and eggs on the barbie. Lovely, lovely. Uh, yeah, we had dinner last night with um, uh, Gary and Sh uh, Sharon and um, they treated us to some um, ruby snapper uh, and it was it was amazing <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah so um, it was a bit better than the old herring and trevally we've been eating but we've still got a little bit of um, uh, spangled emperor in the freezer we're just going to um, save that till we've got rid of all the shit fish and probably eat that in the next couple of nights if we don't catch anything out here but yeah we just cry back that so it keeps pretty good in the freezer um, but yeah squid tonight and pork roast tomorrow and yeah I've got the big rod with me there and I've got another we're going on there. Yeah, we'll see how it looks when we get out near the reef and um, uh, give it a crack. Might have a little trawl. Uh, me end game with the tinny is to one day get a maki or similar like wahoo or something like that. Could be cobia or something uh, in the boat. So um, so that's uh, one day. Might be today. Probably not. But yeah, we're gonna just head that way uh, until we get close to the reef and then chuck the lures out when it gets a bit deeper and do a few laps and see what happens. Psychedelic one. Uh, it's a Halco Laser Pro. Um, I've usually got the bigger version, but I've only got the small one um, today. I think it's two and a half metre. Yeah, in the past, we've, um, oh, I'm not much of a pelagic man, but the times I've gone trawling, this thing has worked wonders. We've destroyed a couple just because of so many Mackies and stuff we've caught. Just chews them all up. But uh, we'll give this one a go. My other favourite is the Purple People Eater. Yeah, that's a laser pro as well, I think. Um, seems to work awesome. But yeah, we'll give this a crack. There's heaps of weed around, so just not too sure how we're gonna go on the trawl. Uh, we'll trawl up towards the reef and then do a loop and come back. We'll just stay inside the reef just to be sure we don't get out of, too out of control. Let it heat out. Heat? Yeah, you don't let it heat. No, nah, let it heat let out. It heat out. Every colour is 10 metres. I didn't pay attention. Red rocket. Standing in the Yeah, I think so. What a weapon. Fuck that. Hey, 
Loves the white softy, the old Chinaman. A bit more for dinner. Fish you just caught. Oh, what? It's got a wrasse in his mouth. Ew. Where is it? Oh, what's it going to oh, be? Oh, you've got this one. How's that? Oh. <laughs> that was in his mouth. Little yeah, rats. You see what happens when you're greedy? Yeah, you already had something there. Uh, well, that's it. Uh, we got a couple of Chinamen, and oh, that was all right on soft plastics, which is a bit different for me trying to get into that sort of thing. The ground here is out of control. Where I think we're sort of at the start of where all the reef line sort of happens, uh, but it's too deep here for the waves to break. Uh, but there's like plate, coral, everything, it's unreal. Uh, yeah, but um, we'll head in. Uh, we want to go get some phone service to bring some family in that because we haven't for a while. Five k's from camp, just back south of us is a mobile phone boosting tower sort of thing uh, just on the entrance into South Lafroy camping which is just just there so yeah we'll um we'll go ring some people uh, yeah that's yeah, a pretty good day a couple of squid a couple of Chinamans squid for tea squid for tea Campfire's going and um, and how good's the Arvo? It's a uh, yeah, it's uh, virtually not a breath of wind. The old tower, no move. <laughs> so yeah, we're uh, got um, fresh squid for dinner on the fry pan. Just get the fire going and um, and yeah. That's what's happening. Uh, I went down to the camp host and um, stole all these knives and just gonna sharpen them up for him. And have a whiskey. Yep, and can't really watch the sun go down today because it's so cloudy, but. Um, Get the yeah. general idea. Yeah, it goes dark. That's pretty much what happens. Mm -hmm.